Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be sharing my newborn essentials. I want to talk about all of my favorite products that I used with our baby girl. She is our first daughter and when I was pregnant with her, I watched so many of these videos. There are so many things that you can buy for a new baby. And with all the choices, it can be kind of overwhelming on deciding what to choose. So I wanna share my personal favorites, the things that we use the most, and the things that I would highly, highly recommend. I will make sure to have everything that I mentioned linked down below in the description box, along with timestamps for all of the different categories that I'm gonna talk about. Okay, so first let's start with some clothing items and some sleep products that the baby wears when sleeping. We really enjoyed these double zipper, onesies from Kite, which makes it really easy and convenient to change their diaper in the middle of the night without fully undressing them so they stay warmer and more comfortable and everything just goes a lot quicker. Plus the fabrics are incredibly soft and so just yummy feels so so good against the skin and i think that is so important especially for a newborn staying on sleep we really enjoyed these halo sleep sack swaddles they look like this they have a zipper front closure and this velcro band so here is the zipper and then it velcros across like this for their arms newborns have this startle reflex where their arms just move like crazy especially when they sleep and they can often get woken up by their own reflexes and by their own movements so swaddling newborns is a very popular thing and with the velcro it's a lot more secure and just a lot easier to get on and then for daytime my favorite place to get her things is from h&m baby i feel like they have a really good selection of clothing that you would actually wear on an everyday basis so our favorites have been these bodies long sleeved bodies with pants and some of them even come in sets and they are so cute they even have some organic cotton pieces as well which is really nice babies they do grow so fast so with clothing you do have to keep buying them pretty much like every other month or so, so i like that h&m baby is affordable but their styles are really cute they have cute prints you can get good sets as well i also get all of her bodies from h&m as well and her socks bibs kind of on the topic of clothing and things like that i would say a pacifier clip and of course pacifiers i know not every baby takes to a pacifier but ours did her favorite ones have been from event these are the ultra air pacifiers she loves these they're very like lightweight i do recommend though getting a few different brands for them to try pretty sure i got three to four different kinds and yet yeah, these are the ones that she liked the most again the Philips event ultra air okay so moving on to diapers changing diapers our favorite diaper cream has been from Waleda she has never had a diaper rash putting on a layer of this cream which is very thick it acts like a barrier between her skin and the poo and the pee again she's never had any problems with her skin so I would highly recommend this and I know it's one that a lot of parents love with that we also use this genius little diaper cream spatula I have three of these they came in a pack of three and they are so convenient because this cream is very thick it can be a bit difficult to get off your fingers and this is also just a lot more hygienic you can pop these into the dishwasher you can rotate them and it makes diaper changes go quicker since you don't have to run and wash your hands afterwards and then for wipes my favorite ones have been the Pampers Harmony Aqua they're 99% water and they are perfume and alcohol free so it's great for sensitive skin we did also try the water wipes which were also good but i feel like this with this closure here it's just a little bit more convenient for on the go and then for diapers as well we really like the pampers harmony diapers i believe in the u.s they're called pampers pure that's like the more clean and minimal line from pampers also on the topic of changing diapers these little windies have come in handy so many times so with newborn babies so from zero to three months they go through a lot of changes in their digestive system they can be very gassy at times can actually cause them a lot of pain and with this it's something that you put up their bum and it helps to release the gas and the trapped air in their belly this was literally a lifesaver for us of course it's important to do little exercises with their legs so they can move their tummy like little bicycle kicks and things like that but if she's been crying 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 and there's nothing else that helps then these are a really great little alternative okay next moving
moving on to some cleansing and toiletry kind of items. The first thing when it comes to cleansing, I would say is a baby bathtub. The brand that we had is from Skip Hop. It looks like this and it's cool because you can adjust the sling. You can move it to different positions depending on how old your baby is, which is very convenient, especially if you're doing the bath by yourself. We actually didn't really use the sling part a lot. One of us would just hold her at the bottom, like underneath her neck, so she would be more submerged in the water. But the sling, again, is great if you are by yourself. Another one that I've seen a lot of is from Angel Care. I'll pop in a picture of it here. This is another really popular one. You'll also want to get some kind of gentle soap that is specifically made for babies, something that is fragrance-free and just very gentle on sensitive skin. We got the ones from Honest Baby and also from Waletta, the same brand as the diaper cream. These work really well. They're very gentle. You can use them over their body, on their bum, and their hair. And then also for bath time, you'll want to get a towel that is specifically for babies with a head. We really love this one. This is from, I believe it's from Mori, Baby Mori. Yes, they also do really great um, children's clothing and pajamas as well. And I really love this um, towel. It's so cute. And this is nice because it's perfectly sized for a baby. And again, you can just pop their head in here. So if you wash their hair, they're not gonna be cold on their head. Something else, which I actually didn't get before um, we had our baby, but that I found very helpful um, Afterwards, I found this product from Mistella. This is the No Rinse Cleansing Water. This is specifically for babies. Most babies, they get this baby acne. I think it's at around like one or two months, like maybe like one month. It's from their skin adjusting to being outside of the womb. They shed a lot of their skin as well. They're just like regulating everything in their bodies. Lots of parents recommended this product from Mustela. So you just put some on a cotton pad and you just go one time over their face. So you don't wanna be rubbing this into their skin. Just one gentle swipe. Within like three to four days, all of her baby acne was gone. Also for her face, we really like this Waletta Nurse nourishing cream. This was really great if she had any dry or rough patches on her skin, whether it's on her face or her body. The formulation is very clean, very minimal. We haven't had to use this very often, but it's nice to have for those moments when she does have a bit of dry skin. And then other little toiletry things, this little nose picker from Frida Baby is amazing. It's literally just that. It's a nose picker. So you use these ends to go within the nose and pick out the boogers. Also a natural bristle brush like this one, super soft and very gentle. Nail cutters is very important as well. These are baby nail scissors. These are just the traditional kind. We also have this electric baby nail file as well. This has so many good reviews and it does work very well, but I do find that between the two, we actually end up just using the traditional kind more often. Of course, you have to be very careful with these so that you don't nick their skin. Okay, next let's move on to some products that are for carrying and holding the baby and putting the baby in a safe place. First, a few carriers that I really, really loved. Um, these especially for when she was a newborn and she was so tiny. These are wrap carriers. This one is from Sully Baby and the print is just so beautiful. It's a, a floral print, super soft fabric. She loved being in this so much. I had her in this pretty much every single day. I have a few different kinds. So this one again is from Sully Baby. I have this one from Ergo. Such a great way to have your baby close to you. They love it. She slept like this for so many of her naps. It's a nice way to bond with your baby as well, to do skin to skin, to hear your heartbeat. It allows you to have your hands free so you can do other things like eat or clean up or go for a walk and things like that. So I love baby carriers. And then when she got a little bit older, I started using the more structured baby carriers like this one from Artsy Pop. I think this was around the age of maybe like a month and a half or so. And these are great because they feel really fitted and secure on your body. There's no give like in the fabric ones, like these are buckled. So they just feel very secure and safe on the body. They come in so many different cute prints and colors. I also really love the carriers from this brand called Sandia. They are a German company and Artie Pop, I believe they are from the Netherlands. But this one from Sandia, it's very similar to Artie Pop, but it's a little bit softer here on the waist, 
which I found especially nice for when you're sitting down. I have this one in a light gray. I also have it in the light brown color as well. I'll pop in a picture of it here. And again, they also come in lots of fun different prints. Okay, and when it comes to placing the baby down in a safe place, one of our favorite products have been the Four Moms Swing. This is so great. It has a few different settings and options and a few different speeds. She loved the swing. We had the newborn insert as well, which makes it a bit more comfortable for a tiny baby. But even now, without the um, insert, she still uses this till this day. Another thing that I would put her in a lot is this. This is the Snuggle Me Organic. It is a lounging pillow. It has this soft compartment here, so you put the baby inside and they kind of feel snuggled and like they're being hugged. She loved this. She would nap in this. I know you're not supposed to have them nap in a swing or in, in any of these, but if you have your eye on them, this was just for a daytime nap. So we always had our eye on her. She found these very, very comfortable. It's also very easy to clean. You just take off the cover like this on the back. You can pop this into your um, washing machine. The Baby Bjorn lounger seat. Oh my God, this is such an essential. We use this every single day. When she was a fresh, fresh newborn, we didn't have her in it because she was way too tiny. But after a few weeks, it is a necessity. I don't know how parents live without this bouncer seat. You can place the baby in here safely when you are doing other things. If you're having a shower, going to the bathroom, you want to put her in a place that's maybe not laying down if she's just eaten. And then when they get a little bit older, they can start to learn how to actually bounce and move themselves in the seat. It is so useful and would highly recommend it. Again, it's very easy to clean as well. You can just slip off the fabric cover, throw it in the washing machine. Also our play gym from Love Every. This is a great place to place your baby down, play with your baby, to teach your baby new things, interact with her. She loves this play gym. I love the design of it as well, just from my own personal perspective. It's really great and stimulating for the baby with you know the different colors and things like that, but it's not so crazy and so loud that it's an eyesore in the room. It's beautifully designed and all of the toys and everything that comes with it is Montessori inspired. And I personally pay for the monthly subscription service for their new toys. So every month they get new toys that are appropriate for their age developmentally. So it's so great. It takes out the guesswork of which kinds of toys are appropriate for your baby's age. And they also send you this really cool little booklet that shows you different ways on how you can interact with your baby, how you can play with your baby, different milestones and developmental leaps that are occurring at that age. So I would highly, highly recommend Love Every and the Play Gym and their monthly um, toy boxes. And I'm very excited every time the box comes, I can see the different toys and we can rotate her things so that it's always interesting for her. And I know that all of the toys are appropriate for her age. Okay, moving on to the out and about section. So when you're going outside with your baby, very important is of course to get a car seat so that your baby is safe and secure. We got the one from Nuna. It's the Nuna Pipa. I really love this one because it rotates in the car, which makes it very convenient for putting in and taking out your baby. And the stroller that we use on a daily basis is from Upper Baby. It's their Vista V2. It's a really cool stroller because it's convertible. So if you plan on having kids in the future, it can fit two seats. And I love the actual design and the way that the stroller looks as well. We got it in the Declan beige color. It's a beautiful light beige and I think it's so pretty. It's also not too big and too bulky so when I'm going through the grocery store it fits all of the aisles nicely. I don't feel like it's it takes up too much space and I like the um, compartments underneath as well. Currently we also have the Nuna Travel for when we go away on our trip and this is very convenient. It just um, closes really easily on the top and it gets really small and compact but this is not for newborns. However, you you can put the car seat on top of this. It fits in perfectly, but currently we use it like she can actually sit within it. I really, really love this stroller for when we're traveling. Also for being out and about, a good diaper bag is essential. This one is from Mina Bay. It is actually
actually a backpack and I think it's so chic. I am so in love with this backpack. I recently used it a lot on our trips. It's great because you can have your hands free and it's very secure as well because it does have a zipper here and also this flap on top. It's got lots of nice compartments on the inside so you can keep everything very organized. I love that about Mina Bay. They've got some beautiful, beautiful diaper bags. I actually also have their Emmy Midi in a beige color and also in the black color. I showed the beige one in my what's in my hospital bag before I gave birth. I took that diaper bag with and I really, really love it as well. Also for being out and about, a good sound machine is essential. You can clip this to your stroller. I've even clipped it to the actual baby carrier when she's been napping on the go. This provides white noise, which is very soothing for a baby, kind of like a shh sound and that's what they hear when they're in the womb. And this one is great. You can just charge it and take it with you on the go. You can even have this in the car. And then also for on the go, just a good blanket. Of course, you can also use these at home. This one is from H&M. Very soft, easy to wash. You can find ones from lots of different brands, but I would say definitely a good like couple of blankets to have on hand. Okay, moving on to some tech things. So the first thing is our baby monitor. This is a huge essential. It gives you such peace of mind to see your baby when they're sleeping. This one from Nanit is so cool. First of all, the quality and the picture that you see is really clear. I feel like it's the best one on the market. It's really cool because you can actually monitor their breathing as well. There's a breathing band that you can put on them and there's nothing electrical about this so you don't have to worry about your baby having like any electrical pulses or anything on their body. There are also lots of other fun things that you can do with this. You can track your baby's growth. You can take pictures with this and it gives you lots of great sleep insights as well it tracks how well your baby is sleeping how often they wake up during the night I also love the actual design of it it's very sleek and you don't have to drill anything into the walls it just comes on this beautiful stand it's very minimal you can also move this and you can place it in different rooms with their standalone um, stand so if you want to put the monitor for example in your living room in front of her play area or so it's very easy to change it from different um, places the App itself is also very easy to use and I've just loved the whole experience of this camera. Another tech thing that we use every single day is our Hatch sound machine. So similar to this one but with the Hatch sound machine, it just provides constant white noise throughout her naps and her nights. I love white noise as well. I even have the Hatch, like the regular sound machine for adults. I've talked to you guys about that one before and I'm obsessed with it. So this one is great for babies. It's got a collection of different soothing sounds including different white noises we personally love the wave sound that one is great but it can also do lullabies and different nature sounds and then it also comes with a variety of different colors that you can um, choose from as well another tech thing that I could not go without is my Huckleberry app this is what I use to record all of her sleeps when she eats you can even track things like her diapers or pumping sessions which I used to do as well There's lots of different things that you can track but mostly now I use it for her feeds and her sleeps. When you are a new mom and you're just trying to figure everything out, you're sleep deprived, it is so helpful to have a place where you can log in all of these things so that you don't have to think about them. Keeping an eye on awake windows is really important for babies so that you know when they're getting tired and when they're ready to sleep. Of course, also keeping track of how often they're eating so that you're feeding them properly or even just if they're a little bit fussy and you might not know why, you can check the app and you can see like it's been about an hour since she's been awake so maybe she's tired or it's time for her to eat, let's feed her. So the Huckleberry app is incredible. And the last category is feeding. I did breastfeed in the very beginning and of course you don't need anything for breastfeeding but a few helpful products would be things like lanolin cream that's mostly more for you but definitely your nipples they feel it so getting some good lanolin cream for your nipples will definitely be helpful. I was also pumping as well. I really enjoyed the one from Spectra. I found it to be very efficient. The one that I had also you didn't need to have it plugged into the wall. You could charge it and move it around which I found very helpful and then of course a good pumping 
bra too. You can find lots of great ones on Amazon. And then the bottles that we really liked were the MEM anti-colic bottles. And anti-colic bottles are great because it allows the air in the bottle to move out of the bottle so that less air is being sucked in by the baby, which can then cause gas and irritation. With that, you'll also need a bottle warmer if you plan on giving your pumped breast milk. And then also some like breast milk bags that you can pop in the fridge. But a warmer is great. You can find a few different ones on Amazon, but this is very useful. And then if you plan on formula feeding or doing a combination kind of feeding, which is what we did, we really love our baby Brezza. It is a formula maker. It's kind of like a coffee machine, but for babies, it's amazing. It dispenses the formula and the water in the correct ratio to make you a bottle of your choosing. So there's a few different size bottles that you can make, especially helpful for middle of the night. It warms the water to the correct temperature as well, and it's great. It works with lots of different formula brands. A sterilizer is also very important for your baby bottles and even things like pacifiers, certain toys, teethers, and things like that. We have the one from Event, which uses steam as the method of sterilization. I also really enjoy our drying rack for our bottles as well. It just allows the bottles to dry faster. It keeps them all in one place, everything like neat and organized. I also use it again for our pacifiers, our teething toys. I just place them on there and I know that everything is clean and ready to go. In this category as well, burp cloths or muslin cloths are so, so important. You'll pretty much want to have one on your shoulder at all times. Babies spit up a lot and you'll want something to catch that with and to like wipe their mouths. Bibs are also really useful. We've got some from H&M and also from Amazon. And then a feeding pillow can be very useful as well. We have the Boppy one and also one from BB Hug Me that you can tie around your waist. This was especially useful for when she was a tiny, tiny newborn and you kind of needed to prop her up so she was in the correct position and aligned properly with the boob. And then lastly, I didn't really know where to put this in which category, but just learning about newborns and babies. I did a lot of preparation on the actual birth part. However, when the baby's actually there, for me, I thought I would have more time and, and mental space and mental energy to learn about like wake windows and proper sleeping environment, things that work really well for a newborn. I just didn't have that time and I didn't have that mental capacity to really like immerse myself in that kind of information. I'm currently taking the taking care of babies class for five to 24 month old babies. And I found that really, really helpful. I know she also has a newborn class and this is something that I am 1000% gonna be taking for our next child, even though of course I've learned so much from having our first baby. But the things I've learned in the class that I'm taking right now are so helpful and has made such a huge impact on how we are with our baby so I will definitely be taking her newborn one next time around her website in general has a lot of great information that is free as well so those are my newborn essentials those are all of the items that we used the most I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and good luck with your newborn stage of motherhood or of parenthood it's definitely a very intense period but so much love and so many exciting things going on as well and hopefully these things that I mentioned will make the journey a little bit smoother and you'll feel more prepared as you welcome your little bundle of joy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!